Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Kano PC, the best first PC, a computer designed for learners, students, and something really a little bit different. I'm gonna walk through the key features, actually put the system together. That's right, there is some assembly, which is all part of the fun, and I think we'll go from there. Let's do this. This is actually my first time opening the box, so I'm intrigued what we get inside. First things first, there's an instruction manual titled how to make a personal computer, how to make a PC. And we seem to actually have some nice glossy instructions as well, which should guide us through the process. So that's quite exciting. Under the top piece of felt here, we've got what looks to be the main sort of PCB assembly with our memory, processor, storage, power management under this heatsink and some ports knocking about as well. Taking off the next layer of the PC and we've got a power brick, nice and compact, super useful with the UK, of course, power adapter and a charging cable, which is actually USB-C. Always love to see this on any device. We have what appears to be a folio style design for the actual laptop keyboard element. Nice clicky keyboard as well, alongside a speaker, which you can see here in blue. Looks pretty good actually, uh, in terms of design aesthetic. I really like the use of pastel colors. And then of course the included battery, which is USB-C. Super easy, super intuitive and, uh, and yeah, exciting. I think the best thing to do is to get all of our components laid out, put the uh, system together and, and go from there. If you're looking to buy this for your son or your daughter and you want to avoid spoilers in terms of how you put it together, now would be a good time to look away and rejoin us in a few moments time when we jump into the software side of things. Oh, obviously I didn't do something too badly wrong as the Kano system is booting up for the very first time. We've got the little Kano logo. I actually really like the aesthetic on this as well. Uh, the orange keyboard and the soft touch uh, folio keyboard look pretty good actually. Uh, and the screen is also quite nice. It's quite good actually. Once you've got the acrylic cover on, you can also see the components inside, which is great from a learning point of view. You can see the battery, the speaker, the heatsink where your processor, power management and your memory and storage are and of course lights for the battery and speaker to show they've been plugged in correctly. Moving the system back around and Windows 10 is just booting up and we can now try out the Kano software environment, which is of course gonna be the huge selling point for a lot of people with a device like this. The Kano PC really does introduce a slightly different angle into the world of learning to code with a short series of challenges which cover off the basics and the fundamentals. And at the end of it, a solid Windows 10 system that you can still use for general day-to-day -day tasks, whether it be creating Word documents, browsing the web, whatever it might be. Plus, the touchscreen integration is also something I'm a big fan of as a day-to-day -day touchscreen notebook user. It really is an interesting package that looks differently at the ways of learning about PC hardware and software. If you'd like to learn more about the Kano system or any products available at eBuyer, check out the links in the description below. If you found this video useful, insightful or entertaining, make sure to give it a like rating and get subscribed to the channel to see more. Thank you very much for tuning in though. And as always, we'll see you soon.